Here come the Red Hawks. Captains will now meet at midfield for the Eagles, number 58, Sean Halpin, number four, Topher Reardon, number six, Luke Jandro, for the Hawks, number 54, Alex Schreiber, number 11, Aiden Dredge, number 10, Caden James. Hampton is on the toss and will receive the opening kickoff. we would ask everyone to please stand if they're able as the Frontier Band honors America by playing our national anthem. Welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox tonight, Tyler Wolkowitz, Tom Albert, Kevin Murphy, all the rest of the FCAT crew. We are coming at you from the Frontier Regional track and field where your Red Hawks are going to be facing off against the East Hampton. I believe they're the Eagles. Once again, Oliver, I don't know the mascot for the team. It's a huge problem and it really needs to be fixed. You know, you, um, you can research this before the game. I researched their record and everything. I was doing research and I no could, I am almost 100% sure that they're the Eagles though. Okay, I guess we're going to find out. But then out. again, then again, so are, so is, uh, hey, hold on. We're actually the Red Hawks. Are you the Eagles? Is that your team name? I knew it. All right. We, you heard it here first, folks, from a dude wearing an East Hampton jersey. They're the Eagles. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Frontier's going to be kicking off. Both teams are 2-2 two and two coming into this game right now. And that was James on the kickoff. Fielded by number four. Oh, my. Wow. We're not a return. First play of the game, and James's helmet comes off. Already, wow. We saw it rolling on the ground. Look at him, he's running Can off James the field. James stop. Wow. That was the running back, Topher Reardon. From the Eagles. Who, Topher, Topher Reardon, that's quite a name. Quite a name. Oh, yeah. 
So the Eagles are going to be starting from their own 42, about. First play, and it's a false start on the Red Ox. Already. Wow. That's not a, that's not a good start, Oliver. Not at all. <laughs> you know, with the other games, I don't really know what's going on. But with football, I think I'll actually be able to kind of understand. Yeah. Here's the handoff. Taking by number eight. Tommy O'Connor on a carry. O'Connor. <laughs> I don't know. We just do the last names. It's, it makes it a little easier for me, yeah, you know? Yeah, So O'Connor takes the ball. He's number eight. Bray Arsenal going to stop. Second down. They got Second nine yards. Eight yards. Well, the scoreboards. Okay, they score, changed the scoreboards. <laughs> they got eight yards on that run. They'll hand it off again. That's to Reardon this time, and he'll get the first down. Put for Reardon on the carry. East Hampton looking solid so far. Yeah. Carry good for an Eagle first down. First attempt East Hampton from the Red Hawk 43-yard line. I mean, I said just a few moments ago, both teams are 2-2, two and two, but we've seen, I mean, like looking at the records. Yeah. Or not the records, the scores for the previous games O'Connor from East Hampton. They have had some big wins. Big. If I remember right, they had one game where they won 56 to 8. Yes, that, yep. no gain on the I forget who won it. And 10. <sighs> Who was it? I think it was a um, Monument Mountain. Was that it? Yeah. That w maybe it wasn't that, but that was a game that we were looking at because yeah. we had no idea, no idea where Monument Mountain nope. was. That one thing. <laughs> Second and ten. Hogan takes the snap, hands it off to O'Connor, and he's brought down after just two or three yards on the, on the near side. On the oh, side. no, that was number six, not number eight. That's Luke Jondro. That's a fun name. It is, yeah. Jondro. It's spelled like Can't John and then so Dro. You know, a lot of interesting names on this East Hampton team. Yeah. Got was it? Uh, Miguel De Jesus. No, no, no. De Jesus. Or the, the, the brothers. The brothers. brothers. Oh, yeah. Bryce and Dylan McGinn Stevens. McGinn Stevens. That's, yeah, it definitely is an interesting one. Another running play by the Eagles. We haven't seen any passing from them yet. And they are not going to get the first down. They're going to be forced to. Fourth, and where are they going to put them? Wyatt Eads on a stop. Fourth down. Fourth and six for East. So Hampton. they only got two yards on that play. All right. From the Hawk, 39-yard line. Oh, they're, are they they're going for it? They are going for it. Bold moves. Some movement in the backfield. Hogan takes the snap. He's going to pass for the first time. It sends it down the field. No Here's flags the on the play. So that's going to be incomplete. There was a lot of contact, though. Yeah, Red lot. Hawks take over. I was expecting first a PI, ten. possibly. Yeah. I honestly was from the too. Hawk, yard line. But that was a bit of shoving. Yeah. From the, from the Hawks there. I think that was Dredge and Pareda who were on the coverage there. Ah, Brady Pareda. Oh yeah. Love that guy. And the throw was, uh, it, it was meant for Reardon, but it, it was number one. I think it was a little overthrown. Yeah. It, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I don't, and I don't know if they just got caught. If the the, the wide receiver just got caught up there, like from maybe a block. Or yeah, maybe. I mean, it's a shame we don't have replay. That would be really yeah. nice, you know? Like they do in the NFL. But. Here's the first play for the Red Hawks. Dredge takes it himself, oh, and he oh, fumbles oh, it. Oh, my oh, God. Fumble on a play. That is the Dennis first time I've seen that recovery. play go that wrong, Oliver. <laughs> first and ten Eagles. He threw it to him. I, did he... It, he got grabbed by his other arm, and he lost control, and the ball flew out of his arm. It, right? Into, who's number 73? we got to see who that is. First and 10 from That's the Connor Donis, who got technically an interception, I guess, because yeah, he grabbed it out of the air. <laughs> I have never seen anything like that before. Okay, well, not a great start. No, it's right not. Here. So now the Eagles have actually gained field position in a oh. breakaway oh. run for Reardon. He still isn't down. They finally bring him down Careful within the 15 or so. Jeez. Carry good for an East Hampton first down. That's a really unfortunate turn of events for the Red Hawks. Yeah, it is. Had a nice stop on that opening drive, and now it's 
they didn't even get one playoff. No, not one. <laughs> it's just, wow. Here's the play. Reardon gets swallowed up. So for Reardon on the Eagles carry. Well, that was no more and than Miskowski two yards I'd give him. Second. Eagles come out of the huddle. Receiver is out to Hogan's left side, and he's going to hand it off. And he's almost brought down. I thought he had him there. Wow. He's still going to be brought down for a loss. That was... I keep mixing up their numbers. That was Wyatt Eads. I thought so. Wyatt Eads. Tall guy. He almost got him on that first tackle, but he kind of lost him a little bit. It looked like... Third goal from the, looks like the 10-yard line. So it's third down. They're on the 10 or 11 yard line. Frontier, well, I will say this so far, Oliver. Frontier's defense has been putting up a decent enough fight. Yeah, I mean, they've got, they're, they've just shut down the running game. For now. Here's the pass. Caught, and are they going to bring him down? They will. Complete to Tommy within the five. That was O'Connor with the Here's reception. Fourth down. And there we go again, jinxing the game. I just. Frontier with the, putting up a good fight on defense. They almost Dorothy score a touchdown. The yeah. four yard line. Aiden Dredge comes on for his little brother, Garrett. Receivers out to Hogan's left side. Handoff and. That's going to be in for the touchdown. Touchdown. So on Eagles. basically the opening Number drive, the Eagles are going to score. Yeah, that's uh, good. Touchdown East no, Hampton. it, it definitely the first isn't. Couple of minutes. Yeah. They took about half the time out of um, this first quarter, and they're going to go for two. You know, I don't think out of all the games I've well, been, John I don't think I've seen many. Extra point attempt. Have you ever seen two point conversions? Yeah. Oh well, never mind. They're going for the extra point. It's, oh, it's blocked. blocked. Sent up in the air and grabbed by Kick Brady Pareda, but blocked. it's the play's just going to be dead. Yeah. Six forty seven remaining in the first quarter. The East Hampton Eagles six. Frontier Red Hawks nothing. You know, interesting call there. Calling it dead. I mean. Because usually it would still be a live ball in a game. Yeah, I guess so. But I, then again, with high school football, you don't see um, extra point attempts like all that often, just yeah. like you were saying. And I mean, like, I was really surprised that the Eagles were going. I saw them setting up for the, uh, you know, the points after the touchdown, and yeah. I just automatically assumed, oh, they're going for two points. Yeah. Because, like, I think that Frontier is really the only team that I've seen, like, really do. Uh, like just a, an extra point you know just a regular one point extra point a lot um it's mostly just because i mean like it's yeah. just like i mean like <laughs> it's hard to kick a football <laughs> through the uprights it's harder than it looks it is a lot harder than it looks mm -hmm. i've given it a couple of tries and I'm not very good at it yeah Here's the kickoff for the Eagles, and it's a deep kickoff. This isn't something we wow. haven't seen a lot. Burt's going to field it for the Red Hawks. He oh. goes to the far side, makes a nice move. He's in the middle of the pack now, and he's going to get brought Dean down Burton around the return. 35. What a great return. And that was pretty much a 35-yard run back yeah. for Burt. You know, we've seen a lot of good Nelson play from Gomez Burt on, on the, stop. the, on the kick receiver. First and 10, Red yeah. Hawks. We have, I mean, he had frontier. that... Uh, he ran the ball back for a touchdown, I think, in the Tech game. He did, yeah, he did. Yeah. So now let's see if the Red Hawks can come up with some way to get a drive going. Yeah. Snap to Dredge, fake handoff, and he'll hand it off to James. No, that's Mitchkowski on the carry. He gets a couple yards. Edward Miskowski on the carry. Like. 
gain of four, second and six. What was that about? He just needs to put something on the house car, uh, that's okay, all. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. I'm not doing anything scandalous. Oh, are of you? course not. No, I trust Johnny with my life. What an upstanding <laughs> citizen that man is. He is an upstanding citizen. Got a couple of receivers out for Dredge. He's going to hand it off to James, though, and James gets James wrapped up immediately. On a carry? About a yard, I'd say. Evan O'Malley on, on a carry. shot. Gain of a yard, 35. There's the pep band yeah. <laughs> trying to hype the crowd up. We have a good turnout tonight, you know? We, yeah. I mean, this, usually these games get a lot of turnout. And, oh, yeah. We really feel it today. Yeah. I mean, even like the visitor side over there, there's a lot more people. Than yeah, people. I was noticing that. All the way from East Hampton, too. Yeah. That's a decent drive. Here goes Dredge with the option route. He's going to get wrapped up and sent backwards a little bit. Dredge on a carry. Looked like he had a loose hold on that ball. I thought it was going to be... Yeah, I was a little worried for a minute there. On the stop. It's going to be fourth down, Ooh. and now you got to just... Are you going to go down. for it or not? Yeah, fourth, fourth and five, five for the Red Hawks from the... I thought they got more than that. that they're saying that he just got a yard? Yards. I thought that was more than that. that. A, I looked a lot more than just the yard. I, I thought that it was going to be like fourth and two or something like Maybe that. that looked, that's what one. it looked like. Oh, fourth and one. No, so they did get So a what's the, sc the I, Well, the scoreboard says it's second and four, folks. But over the loudspeaker we're hearing, it's fourth and one, which sounds a lot more accurate to me. So here's the snap to Dredge. Hand off to James. And he definitely gets oh, the first wow. down. James. And he powers through the pile. He got, wow. He got some yardage. Oh, yeah. Even while he was just like... First down into East Hampton territory. That was quite East something. 48-yard line. Well, now, Oliver. Yeah. Um... Ox with a new set of downs, and um, they're about midfield. Yeah. It's early enough in the game, and this is pretty much their first real drive. They're down, and we, I don't think, if my memory serves me, we haven't seen a passing play from Dredge just no, yet. No, we have not. Oh, well, and there you down. go. Pass to Burt. Oh, Burt makes wow. a nice move. He's on the sideline. He gets Pass wrapped up and thrown down at the 30. Well, wow. there you go. I should just say I should just say that they should do more rushing plays because then they'll do more passing plays and maybe we can get some more yards. Hey, you know, I don't think they should score a touchdown. You know, you make a very good point. You made that's a very good argument, Oliver. <laughs> we just gotta reverse psychology. Yeah, the game. Right, right. Like, yeah, as we've brought up. Every time we say something. Every time. And it's happened more in volleyball than any other sport that we've covered together. Yeah, yeah. Dredge signaling to his receivers. Bert and Karen are out there for him, but he's going to hand it off to Pareda. Pareda gets a couple Brady yards and brought carry. down. Luke Jandro want to stop. Well, this is the kind of offense that we've gotten used to seeing from the Red Hawks in yeah. the last couple of games. Even in games where um, they haven't come out on top, Gain of five, they've second and five. been playing really well, better than yes. I've seen them in the yes, past couple years, I'd say. And there, I don't know if this has been similar to the past couple of years, but I've seen a lot of rushing plays out of... Rushing the is their main thing. They don't do a lot of passing, and you're very right about that. A lot of teams don't do a lot of passing. Yeah. Which I feel like... Dredge takes the snap. He's moving to the near side. Hands it off to Pareda. A little toss. And Pareda's brought Pareda down the about carry. the line Luke of scrimmage, it looked like. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like... I mean, Frontier's got some great wide receivers out they there. They do. They've got, like... Who they got? They've oh, Bed Karen. They've got Burt, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe of course. Third and four James. The um, Just so many good ones. They really do. Only and Arsenal. I mean, I think that Arsenal is mainly a running back. Yeah. But he also, I've seen him catch passes and just, he's gone. Yeah. He's gone down he's the field. He gets a couple blocks guy. and he's out of there. And it's like, you know, you can if you can draw up a couple good passing plays that can break through the defense, you've got some great potential oh, yeah. at this level of play. You know, because no one really does passing plays that much. Yeah. You just 
defend for the running play. And here's another one to James. He gets Jaden wrapped James up, but I think he got a yard or two. Dylan McGinn Stevens on the stop. Fourth down for the Red Hawks. Well, I'd say that they're going to go for it on fourth down. They don't have much to lose. Yeah. Fourth and three. Fourth and three. Yeah. It says six up there, but... Uh, I guess I haven't changed it yet. But, I mean, like, fourth and three. That Three yards, not a big conversion to make on no, fourth down. No, no, no. You know? And it also, you're on their 25. Yes. yes. You, t you turn the ball over, they don't have good field position. Maybe you get a good defensive play because your defense has been playing great. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, they've been playing fantastic. Movement in the backfield by Arsenal. Fake oh. the handoff. Dredge keeps it himself. Oh. He's going on the sideline. Does he get the Dredge yards? It looks carry, like he does. Wow. By Tommy O'Connor. What a Can great effort by Dredge. First down. Beautiful. That was beautiful. I mean, he had me confused there with that fake handoff. Yeah, he's getting really good at him. He's he really is. really good at him. And his dad, the coach, has also been... He's gotten pretty good at drawing up those fake First plays. Oh, yeah, from yeah. From the East Hampton 15 yard line. So now they're on East Hampton's 15. And they're closing. I mean, they're in the red zone now. They're closing in on a touchdown. They just got to keep pushing the same that they have been this whole drive. Arsenal, Karen, and West out as receivers. James and Burt behind Dredge. Movement by Burt. Fake handoff to James. Dredge takes himself and he's wrapped up. Aiden Dredge on the carry. Looked like maybe a yard or two, no more. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a lot of QB rushes this game. Yes, we have. You know, and I feel like at this Gainer. pace, I think they should throw in... I've, we talked Gainer. about it, but I think Two they should probably throw in a couple eight. more passing plays. Yeah, especially, I mean, like, they're on the 15-yard yeah, line. Like, that is a feasible distance to throw to the end zone. Yeah. You know? Yes. I think that, you know, drawing up a play where you get a receiver in the end zone, you throw it to him, it's like, you know, you give, you give it a shot. Time's running out on the first quarter right now. Dredge. Ready for the That's snap, the the and they are going to call the first quarter score. before the snap goes Eagles off. Eagles so it's six to nothing. The Eagles are on top, but the Red Hawks are Again, on the Eagles 15 in position to strike and back dogs. and even out the game. Maybe even take the lead with an extra point. Maybe. Yeah. So and we're going to be back in just a few moments with the second Enter. quarter of Stretch the Red Hawks against the Eagles. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Thank you for your support. Second down, second and eight for Frontier. From the East Hampton 11 yard line. Brady Pareda on a carry, Luke Jandro on a stop. Third and four for the Red Hawks. Dredge pass incomplete. <clears throat> Tended for Ben Karen. Leaves the Red Hawks a fourth down, fourth and four. Pass knocked down. Eagles take over first and ten from the Red Hawk. Eleven yard line.
Jandro Anukeri. Gain of gain of a yard, second and nine. complete to Tommy O'Connor into Red Hawk territory first and ten East Hampton Carry. Alex Schreiber on the stop. Gain of four, second and six. Schreiber on the stop, carry good for an East Hampton first down. First and ten Eagles from the Red Hawk 37 yard line. Carry. Wyatt Eads on the stop. Gain of seven, second and three from the Red Hawk 31 yard line. Pass is complete to Topher Reardon. Levi Pickard on the stop. Completion good for an East Hampton first down. First and 10 Eagles from the Hawk 26 yard line. on the stop. Personal foul on the Red Hawks. Half the distance. Automatic first down. First and goal for East Hampton from the Frontier seven yard line. Go for Reardon on the carry. Second and goal for the Eagles. JV and Cabrera on the stop for the Hawks.
pass incomplete intended for Tommy O'Connor. Third and goal from the Frontier five yard line. Pull for Reardon on a carry. Alex Schreiber on the stop. Fourth and goal for the Eagles. From the Red Hawk two yard line. Stop short of the goal line where the Red Hawks take over first and ten. by a host of Eagles. Gain of two, second and eight. Intercepted. Trevor Cannon Smith on the interception. First and ten. Eagles from the frontier. 14 yard line. start on the Eagles five yard penalty first and 15. Drone. 
ECM to attempt a two point conversion. Go for rear and in for the two point conversion. 427 remaining in the first half. The ECM to Eagles 14, Frontier Red Hawks nothing. Halftime, we will be entertained by the Red Hawk band. Again, the concession stands open. Brady Pareda back for the Red Hawks. Yeah. Yeah. Dredge on the carry. Tommy O'Connor on the stop. First down for the Red Hawks. First down from the Frontier 30 yard line. James on the carry. Jake Kostick on the stop. Gain of a yard, second and nine. conversion. Timeout called by the Hawks. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Oliver Cox, and Brady that was great on the handoff. He's going to get wrapped up. Two point conversion is no good. No good. It's still 6 to 14, though. 
Yeah. A one score game for the Red Hawks. Uh -huh. And a good position to be in at the end of the first half. Yeah. Very good. Six. Definitely a lot better than the position they were in just before. Oh, a lot better, yeah. Caden James to kick off. Don't for rear and Luke John Joe back. Well, now I mean the main thing that. Uh, well, the Red Hawks are going to get. They're going to receive the ball at the start of the first half. Yeah. Um, because they, they kicked it off um, at the beginning of. Uh, at the, they kicked it off at the beginning of the first half. They're going to receive it at the start of the second half. Yeah, so this could be. They just got to hold East Hampton here. Yeah, and East Hampton almost breaks through the line of defense. Gets to about the Red Hawks 43. Every time. Every time. Every time we say something. Vince yeah. Carter on a return for East Hampton. I mean, we're just saying what needs to what needs to happen for Frontier. They need to they need to stop him or at least prevent them from getting into the end zone yeah. for three minutes and 17 seconds. And then, you know, they have a shot to tie up the game. Yeah, they do have a shot. That that's the way it is. I'm. That's not an opinion, that's the truth. Yeah. You know? And the Eagles are in very good position right here. Yeah, that's the also the truth. I'm like the 43. Pass outside. from Hogan. It that is. was. Pass incomplete. It, it's just incomplete, but that was. Uh, he kind of got hit Pressure as he was throwing the ball. Seems like it, yeah. Yeah. Second and That 10. was. That could have been. If someone was in the right place at the right time or had seen that ball. Yeah. That, that could have been really exciting. Really good. It could have been. So it is second and ten. Eagles come out of the huddle. A couple of receivers out on the far side of the field. Movement. And Hogan takes the snap, hands it off to Reardon, and a low hit. Pereira. Go for Reardon on a carry. Oh, he's slipping. Brady he might have landed bad, shot. or maybe just a cramp. Oh, he looks like. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. But he, he got off the field. Yeah, that looks like a cramp. He's holding the back of his thigh. That's got to hurt. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's kicking his feet. Yeah. He'll be back out on the field in a little while, probably in the definitely in the second half, I'd yeah. say. But that is that's Third never fun. For the Eagles. Fake handoff. Going John up the Joe far side. The Some nice moves there. That was Jondro again. Ian Burt on the stop. Carry Jondro making some really big plays Eagle for his down. team. Yeah, he is. He's formidable, is what he is. What did you say? He's a formidable opponent. Formidable opponent. I like that word. It's a, it's a nice rolls right off the top. Yeah, it does. It does. Formidable. Nice little word. They're going to be taking a timeout on the field. I think that was the Red Hawks who took the timeout. So they're going to take a break. And so are we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
But a great hand for the Red Hawk Band under the direction of Matt Sherrill. Great job, Ben. Luke Jandro will kick off for East Hampton. Ian Burt and Brady Pereira are back for the Red Hawks. little makeshift because usually like this thing has that but the, I tried to take the other one off but there's, there's a screw so I, I changed the cameras so that's why it's not black and white anymore so <coughs> so yeah you kind of want to zoom in on the where the action is um, Garrett Dredge on the return and then like Red Hawks, first and ten. There's a if there, like right now I'm just slowly, slowly zooming out. From the frontier thirty six yard line. And then if there's like a pass play, you wanna zoom out a little slowly and then you also wanna like move kind of, not too quickly but semi quick, you know. Basically just follow the football. And... Football is definitely one of the harder sports to film just because sometimes you can lose where the football is. Bray Arsenal on a carry. Luke Jandro on a stop. Gain of six, second and four. And then sometimes you can, as well, you can just zoom in on the huddle and then follow uh, the quarterback. Arsenal on a carry. Like he got so he Tofu Reardon on a stop. I don't know if he got the yeah, he carry got the first down. So I just followed him. Good for a Red Hawk first down. First and ten for the Hawks from the Red Hawk 46 yard line. So it might be it might be a pass play, but he also might just run it again. So yeah, another run play. Brady Parita on a carry, run out of bounds <laughs> into East Hampton territory for another Red Hawk first down. Yeah, so he got the first down, so I'm just following him. And then once you get to the huddle. It's First down, Hawks from the Eagle 40 yard line. Zoom out a little bit. And then, so imagine there's like the uh, the scoreboard, like right at the bottom. Uh, so you want to leave a little, little room there. Another run play. Ray Arsenal done a carry, knocked out of bounds by Tommy O'Connor. Carry good for another Red Hawk first down. Are right, you want to go right now? First and goal, Red Hawks from the Eagle nine yard line. Uh, 
Arsenal on a carry, tackled by a host of Eagles. Short gain in the play, it'll be second and goal. Flag on the play. Offside on the Eagles. Five yard penalty. Second and goal. From the Eagle four yard line. Brady Parade on a carry. We have a flag on the play. Trevor Cannon Smith on the tackle. Damn, I can't film this here. No flag, no penalty. Third and goal for the Hawks. Caden James, touchdown, Red Hawks. Frontier will attempt a two-point conversion. <laughs> Ian Burton for the two points. 8.23 remaining here in the third quarter. The score, the Red Hawks 14, the East Hampton Eagles 14. Caden James a kick off. Tofu Reardon. Luchandro back for the Eagles. Go Nelly! Go Nelly! Go Nelly, come on! I'll laugh for nothing. Nelson Gomez on the return. Jackson Spirits on the stop for Frontier. First and ten, he's stamping into Frontier territory at the Frontier 43 yard line. O'Connor on the carry. Aiden Dredge on a stop. Carry good for an East Hampton first down. First and ten from the frontier, 33 yard line. Pass to complete to Tommy O'Connor. Hogan to O'Connor, good for a first down. Ian Burt on the stop. 
First and goal from the Red Hawks seven yard line. John Joe on a carry, tackled by a host of Red Hawks. Second and goal. Second and goal from the Frontier five yard line. Hogan on a carry, knocked out of bounds by Alex Schreiber. Third and goal for the Eagles. Hey, Tyler. First. Oh. Oh. Tyler. Uh. Tyler. 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 <laughs> Touchdown, East Hampton number eight, Tommy O'Connor. <laughs> That's what I said. Dude, I thought it was one of the people over there on their team without saying that the man was named. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen? I don't know. Did you touch it? It just fell down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just leave it there. Leave it there for a second. Okay. Yo, what? <coughs> Eagles will attempt a two point conversion. <laughs> that fucking dumb. Oh shit. Colin Hogan in for the two points. 6-16 remaining here in the third quarter. The East Hampton Eagles 22, the Frontier Red Hawks 14. These silly goose. What's wrong with the camera? I don't, I don't know how this happened. No, no, this, so this, just leave it like how it was. It fell down though. It's fine. Did it tell us before? Well, I didn't even no, see so, it. So, the, no, no, this, with this camera, um, there's no shotgun. Yeah, no, this one. I tried to take it off the other one. Um, but there. Oh, you wired through. Luke John drove a kickoff for East Hampton. Ian Burt, Brady Breda, back for the Red Hawks. I don't know. Yeah, so I oh, yo, Bell right, is going to fuck up. There you go. Just leave it like that. And then. I think you had to take it off the other one, but screw it on there, so. Garrett Dredge on a return. Trevor Cannon Smith on the stop. First and ten frontier. Okay. From the frontier. 42 yard line. Ray Arsenal on the carry. Trevor Cannon Smith on the stop. Did you say something? Gain of nine, second and one. <coughs> Doing better?
Gray Arsenal on the carry for a Red Hawk first down. Tofu really in on the stop. Carry into East Hampton territory, the East Hampton 46 yard line. Brady Parade on the carry. Jay Kostek on the stop with help from Luke Jandro. Second and nine. I couldn't because I can't turn away. I just try to be a good sport. Dean Bird on the carry. Luke Jandro on a stop carry, good for a hawk first down. First and 10 frontier from the East Hampton 32 yard line. Brady Pareda on the carry. Evan O'Malley, Cooper Goudreau on the stop. Gain of three, second and seven. Pass is complete to number two, Ian Burt. Completion good for a Red Hawk first down. First and ten Hawks. From the Eagle 20 yard line. John to carry. First and goal for the Red Hawks. First and goal from the East Hampton five yard line. Flag on a play, offside on the Eagles. What? Half the distance to the goal line, first and goal.
Westerner will take the two point conversion. Conversion no good, Ian Burn on a carry. 51 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. The Eagles 22 and the Red Hawks 20. James to kick off. Go for weird and Luke Jandro back. Weird in on the return. Jacob Price on the tackle. First and ten Eagles from the East Hampton 43 yard line. Flag on a play, offside frontier, five yard penalty, first and five. Jandro on the carry. Brady Pareda on a stop. Carry into Red Hawk territory. <laughs> second down, second and one. Pass complete to Topher Reardon. Touchdown, Eagles. Colin Hogan to Topher Reardon for an Eagle touchdown. What's, that's crazy. Did you see that mom grab the shot? I was waiting for my uh, bro, that was so good. Like, I can't even think. Will Chandra to attempt the point after. Kick is blocked. And the end of the third quarter here. The score, the East Hampton Eagles 28, Frontier Red Hawks 20. Luke Chandro to kick off for the Eagles. Back for the Hawks, Ian Burt and Brady Pareto. Burt on the return. Yeah, 
Vince Carr on the stop for the Eagles. First and ten, Red Hawks. First and ten frontier from their own 22-yard line. Dredge on the carry. Nelson Gomez on the stop for the Eagles. Gain of seven, second and three. Arsenal on a carry. Connor Donis on the stop. First down, first and ten for the Red Hawks. From the frontier, 34 yard line. Dredge on a carry, knocked out of bounds by Tofu Reardon. Gain of a yard, second and nine. Aiden Dredge on a carry into East Hampton territory for a Red Hawk first down. Tommy O'Connor on a tackle. I'm out caught by Frontier. First down, first and ten for the Red Hawks. Pass complete to Brady Pareto. Aiden Dredge to Brady Pareda.
Till will attempt the two point conversion. Ian Burke in for the two point conversion. 8 21 remaining here in the fourth quarter. The Frontier Red Hawks, 28. The East Hampton Eagles, 28. Kana James to kick off to Luke Jandro and Topher Reardon. Kick covered up by Vince Carr. Eagles first and ten from the Eagle 40 yard line. Fumble on a play. Who are they saying has it? We're just waiting for the refs now. Recovered by Topher Reardon. Uh, the Eagles keep it. And I, just when I said, I'm talking over here and I'm saying, what is, what's going to happen? They're going to get scared and they're going to do something and they fumble the ball. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I, I think I should stop uh, contradicting uh, Dredge's play calls so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, he keeps proving me, well, not all the time, but a lot of the time he proves me wrong. Here's the throw from Hogan. Oh, and it's bobbled and almost intercepted. Oh my god. It was, it was both almost intercepted and caught. Yeah. <laughs> that was why. There was two Red Hawks. Garrett Dredge. Who were there on that play. Third down, third and 15. And I think, you know what I think that was? I think that was the play that got the Eagles the touchdown before. Because he was the only receiver that ran out out of nowhere. Flag on the play. What are they saying? Too many men on the field? Yeah, people are counting. The players on the field are counting. Is that on? No flag. No flag. They're taking it off. That's okay. Well, now I am not sure uh, because they, ju they just said that there's, they waved the flag. As if, like, you know, they waved the flag <coughs> off, but then they pointed at the Red Hawks. So... With the ball has not moved. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, oh, no. They were signaling to the Red Hawks as in the Red Hawks just took a timeout. So they're going to take a quick break on the field, and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Hogan's back to throw. He's going to air it out. Burt! Oh, incomplete pass. Burt brings it down. That was... Kind of oh really my god. Fourth and 15. Are you? Wow. <laughs> well, this well, is looking pretty good. Don't say too much. It's looking you awful. It's looking it's, horrible. This is the worst we've ever seen the team. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, well, here we go. The Eagles are punting. Bird back to receive the punt. Oof, they got close to blocking you there, and it's a pop fly. 
Burt's calling his team off, and the they're going to let it roll to the 30. 31 yard line. Hey, all right. Well, hey, not bad field position. You stop the Eagles as well. It's a tie game. You have seven minutes left to come back and take the lead with a touchdown. Yeah, this is look, look, looking awful. <laughs> the, game, the game has changed momentum. Yes. Eagles started with it, went to the Red Hawks, back to the Eagles, and now it's coming back in the other direction. So we'll just we'll just have to see what happens with this drive. Yeah, we'll, let's, we will see. Receivers out to the far side. That's Bert and Karen, I believe, and two men behind Dredge for the rushing play. Dredge takes the snap and hands it off. I think that was Arsenal. A couple yards. Yep, that was Arsenal. Arsenal. And a carry. Sometimes I get too caught up in like trying to figure out who the player is that I forget to like call the action. Gain of you know? Yeah. Four, second and uh, six. Hey, so you know what I just realized? Uh -huh. This is yours. Because I had the double sided one. So and this yours is under your bench. Hey, so Thanks. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we can disregard all of that. Well, at least this one isn't as crumpled. I don't even know what happened to that. Well, yours is right there, the one yeah, that I just I had. I know, but like, I don't know what happened. Oh. Dredge fakes the handoff. He gets a hole to go through. And and is that going to be? I think that was a first, yeah. Yes, Ref it is. says yes. Oh, there we go. The carry is good for a frontier first down. I saw a couple late shove, late shoves in the backfield. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, there's there was no the call on it. Of course, because we'd be talking about it yeah. on the field if it was. But game starting to get tense as time winds down, and the, it's tied still. And East Hampton's getting a little desperate to take possession back of the ball. Two receivers near side, Karen and Burt, and two men behind Dredge. Dredge takes the snap, hands it off. Oh, Arsenal oh, bobbles oh, it, it's oh, loose! Oh. And the Eagles grab it! Oh my god! Jake Kostick. He bobbled that for about two seconds in the middle of that line. Wow. First and 10, East Hampton. Well, a turnover the by the Hawks. This line. is their third turnover of the game. Wow. 540 left in the game. It, yeah, very much not fantastic. Um, the Eagles are on the Red Hawks, 45. Again, it comes down to the defense. Here's the handoff. He gets some blocks and he's brought down. Short the first down. That was Reardon again. Alex Schreiber, Brady Pareda on a stop. Gain of eight, second and two. Here's the snap to Hogan. Hands it off to Reardon again. He gets some blocks and he breaks away. Bert and James, they need to grab him. And Bert brings him down again. He's made a couple. He's made a couple big tackles for the Red Hawks, but I don't know if it's going to save him this time. Oliver. The one thing that I can say is the downfall for the Eagles might end up being the speed at which they can move down the field. <sighs> They leave a lot of time for the Red Hawks to come back. They do, they do. And I think that that's kind of what the Red Hawks need to rely on. At this point. from the four yard line. Because of course you want to make the stop, but you know, yeah. <laughs> when you're on, when you're on uh, the four yard line, uh, you, you don't have many options. Timeout. East Hampton. East Hampton takes a timeout, and uh, they're going to take a quick break. And so we are watching Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith. We're still here with Oliver Cox, Tom Albert, Tyler Wolkowitz, RSEF Cat Crew, East Hampton, handoff. 
He gets brought down. Yeah, for real, he didn't carry. I don't think he got in. No, he got about a yard, maybe two at the very most. Second and goal. So now with four and a half minutes left in the game, it is second and goal on the two. Second and goal from the Red Hawk two-yard line. The Red Hawks have been able to come up with some big stops in the red zone before. Here's another handoff, and they can't do it again. Eagles take the lead yet again by six points. 4.03 left in the game. 4.03 for the Red Hawks to tie it up. We got we got to figure out what happens if they uh, tie the game. Does it just yeah. end as a tie? I like I haven't heard of that before. That's yeah. the thing. I haven't heard of a tie in a high school football game. Neither have I. But um, will attempt the two point conversion. Here they go for two. Oh, the snap is fumbled. Oh, oh, and James. <laughs> Brings him to the ground and he's not getting up for a minute. That was man. Holy smokes, man. He's captain 34, frontier 28. His teammates help him up and he's got to be shaken up after that. That was a big hit from a big guy. Woo! This is really good. Bad. Oh, I thought you were talking about your drink for a second. I was like, you just drank it? But <laughs> game, the game. This, I, hey. It's a six point game. The Red Hawks, if they, okay, they have four minutes to march down the field and score a touchdown. They could take the lead with a one point, you know, extra point, or they could go for two. I, like, that's, that really depends on how we the John they are. Kick off that, that's the ability. Because, like, honestly, if you are confident in your kicker, back to the go for the one point. Because like there's no point in getting two if it's just a difference of two. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. If it's gonna put you over the limit for a field goal, then absolutely. You know, like that makes all the difference, I feel like. But with the situation that we're at, like if we were talking professional at like NFL level, you're looking at, you're looking at a field goal. line drive into the end zone. Flag on the play, it's on East Hampton's side of the kickoff. Offside on Eagles. And they're not, wow, play. offside on the kickoff. I haven't heard of that before. I, get, I think they're redoing the kickoff. We'll see if that kicker can recreate that kick, because it was, it was big. It was a big kick, but I mean, at the same time, you want a big kick, but you want to be able to measure your big kicks. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because like, if you can, the best thing for your for you to do it for your team is to land it within like the ten, within the five, and really pin the other team down. But let's see what he can do. Here's the second kickoff, and it looks like he's going to do it again. But Burke gets under it this time within the ten, and he's going to bring it out. Makes wow. a nice move. He's going to the outside. He's got a couple blocks, and he's going to get blocked down at the 37 and a flag. Jay Pustic on the tackle. Flag on the, the play. Let's see what they will rule that. that. I mean, that could honestly just be a holding call. Yeah. What do we got? Either team. First of all, First face five. mask on the face East Hampton Eagles. The 15-yard penalty. 15-yard penalty. Big break First for the Red and Hawks. First 10 Red Hawks. That's what they need right now From with under East four Hampton. minutes. Hey, 40 to take the lead. Seven yard line. Stop I talking all that. <laughs> Talk about the game, not who's winning. I, okay. <laughs> we don't want to jinx anything. Well, now that now this just looks funny because they move the ball up 15 <laughs> yards and their their huddle is way behind the ball. See so, you now they turn around, they got to run out like a quarter of the field almost. Red Hawks line up at midfield. Wing formation. Dredge takes the snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it for himself. He's running the option. Hands it off to Burt, who makes a move. He goes to the inside. He's brought down on the after carry. about a yard, maybe two. Looks like it rocked his head, but he's, he's up. So. Yeah, I guess that's what the helmet's for, you know? <laughs> <laughs> John Drill on a stop. 
Gain of two, second and eight. Clock still running. We're under three and a half minutes now. Second and eight is the situation for the Red Hawks from East Hampton's 46. Yeah. Wing formation again. Movement by Pareda. Dredge fakes the handoff. He keeps himself again. He gets a hole and he... Aiden Dredge on the I don't know if he got the first down. He might have gotten down a little early. It's going to be close either way. Jake Costa yep, on the third stop. down. Third down, third probably down. one or two. Two, yeah. Third, third and two for Frontier. Okay, all right. Okay. It's, I mean, it's stressful, but at the same time, if it ends up working and they score the touchdown, it's a brilliant strategy. Yeah. Keep the ball in bounds, run out the clock, don't give them time to come back. Dredge almost gets wrapped up right after the snap. Tosses it to Pareda, and Pareda gets the first down. Brady Pareda carries the wow. right first down. Okay. I think, it, yeah, he got out of bounds too, so that will stop the clock after a couple first plays. First and 10 from, from the East Hampton 35 yard line. Is still gone. They stopped it for a second there. So, two minutes left in the game. Two men behind Dredge and one on either side for receivers. He takes the snap, hands it off to Pareda. Pareda gets a wow. hole. He's got the first down. Let's see Pareda what else he Pareda. can get. And it will be about three yards first down. Three yards more. Dredge gives Mitchkowski some direction and sends it out onto the field for James. From the East Hampton 24 yard line. Brady's going pretty, he's doing pretty good this game. He's going steady, man. Yeah. He's a, he's a reliable guy on reliable that field. Guy. Receivers out to either side. And again, two behind Dredge for the rush. There's the handoff to Pareda again. Wow. He gets another hole. Pareda, oh my Brady God, Brady he's Brady almost the stripped. They almost stripped the Connor ball from Connor kind of on scary. a stop. Timeout called by East Hampton. East Hampton takes a timeout with 1.13 left on the clock. As the Red Hawks close in on the end zone. Second and five for the Red Hawks. They're going to take a short break on the field, and so are we are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Just a little bit longer. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We're getting right back into the action. Hand off to Burt. He goes far side and gets a nice block. Burt makes a move. And going again. And Burt scores. Did he? No. The scene is short. First and goal for the Red No, Hawks. I swear to God he was in, man. Where are they, where are they gonna put him? First and goal from the East Hampton one yard line. One yard line. Are you kidding me? Just give it to him already, man. Oh you know, my think God. Think about it, they could run down the clock here. That, okay, you know what? I retract my statement. First and goal from the one. 45 seconds on the clock. And it's wing formation again. Old reliable for the Red Hawks. That was a false start. That was a false start. Side, you can see it from all the way in the stands. Well, it's, it's first and goal from the half yard line, folks. <laughs> how, do you, how do you get half of the le length of the goal when you're one yard you from just, the you goal? Pick, you pick the football up and just like pretend move, to move it forward a little bit. You move know, it a foot and a half. That's it. That That's crazy. It, it could make the difference in the game, though. Not to draw too much importance to it, but like, who knows? Here come the Red Hawks. Snap and the handoff. He's in. James scores the touchdown, and it's a tie game. 30 seconds on the clock, and it comes down to this. Are you kidding me? Do they go to the extra point? I really, you know, I can make the call here. I don't know what you we were saying before. It depends on how confident they are with their kicker, and it looks like they're going to go for the extra point. Brady Parada, number seven. Brady Parada attempt the point after. Okay. 
sophomore Pareda. All he's got to do is make it through the uprights. Here's the snap, the kick. It's good! Oh, the Hawks take the lead! With 30 seconds on the clock, it's 35 to 34! Five, the East Anthony Eagles, 34. I can't believe it, man. And you can see Dredge, he's talking to James, who's about to do the kickoff. I hope he's telling him, you better boot that thing as hard as you can, dude. The best thing he, James can give us right now is a touchback, honestly. The hardest <laughs> kick he can ever kick, ever. Just try not to take any anyone's head off, that's all. Well, it's, it's over. Don't say that. Red Hawks to kick off with 30 seconds on the clock and they're up by one. With John Drew, both the leader back for the Eagles. Here's James with the kickoff. And it goes straight into the hands of one of the Eagles. He gets to midfield and just a couple yards farther. Vince Carr on a return. 25 seconds. Dredge seems a little bit upset, and I don't blame him. 25 on the clock. And again, I just just kick it harder. Yeah. Like, like seriously, it's like you get them farther down the field. Now, and like now they're in a position to throw a hail mary feasibly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Completely possible. And I don't like that. I me like personally, that it doesn't make me feel good. No, it does not. But here we go. Receiver to either side, motion in the backfield. Hogan takes the snap. He's back to throw. He's gonna air it out to the far side, and it's incomplete. Incomplete. No flags. Pass Five seconds taken off the clock, and it's second and ten. O'Connor incomplete, second and ten. That's all we're looking for. I mean, like, you get the incomplete pass, but you just got to hold your breath yeah. for the, the pass interference flag, whether or not you're going to see that it's... Second and ten they for gotta the Eagles. They got to stop doing this to me, man. Yeah. They're freaking me out too much. It's a single point to it's a, God. Motion in the backfield again. Hogan takes the snap. Back to throw. Other oh, side is blocked. They're going to say it's incomplete. But it's still third and ten. Another five seconds off the clock. That was Colin West who got the block, they're saying. Wow. Fifteen seconds left in the game. It's one, one point making all the difference right now for the Red Hawks, as well as the Eagles. And the Eagles just have two plays left, because they're gonna run the fourth and 10 if they don't uh, yeah. if they don't get at least a first down here. There would be no point in that. Snap to Hogan, he fakes a handoff. He's oh. under pressure and he throws it away. It's up for grabs, and it's knocked down. Flag. There's a flag, a flag the in the backfield. Personal Just foul the on the Red Hawks, Red Hawks with eight Locking seconds in the game. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. There's eight seconds on the clock, and the Red Hawks just committed a 15-yard penalty. Oh, not good. I can't believe that. And roughing the passer, too? That, oh, come on, man. First and 10, he's happened from the oh. Red Hawk 33-yard line. They're on the 33 now. There's, the, there's eight seconds. If they can get, honestly, that's enough for two plays. Yeah. That's enough for about two plays. Maybe three if they're lucky. If they're lucky. It's no receivers on the near side of the field. Two on the far. Hogan takes the snap. He hands it off and. Did he trip? He just kind of downed himself. Timeout taken by East Hampton. Oh my God! Are they gonna try and kick a field goal? I don't believe it. There's three seconds on the clock. It's a one-point game, and East Hampton is just taking the timeout. We'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We're looking at what might be the last play of the game. There's three seconds on the clock. East Hampton's down by one. 
They're looking for a Hail Mary. Here's the throw by Hogan. It's caught! Oh, yeah. And he scores! Oh my God! What happened? Tommy O'Connor. What just happened? Eagles! I'm Are you kidding me? I am speechless. The players in shambles on the sideline and the Eagles are rejoicing in the middle of the field. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Zero seconds left. Touchdown. The fans are walking out and wow. I can't believe what I just saw. Oh my god. This might be worse. This might yeah. This might be worse. I said I it. said during the break I if they score a game winning field goal, but this is worse. I wow. Well, there's not much else to say. Frontier loses by 5 on a last minute Hail Mary to Tommy O'Connor. Well, I've been Mason Smith, Oliver Cox, yep. Tyler Wolkowitz, Tom Albert, Kevin Murphy, rest of the FCAT crew. We hope you guys have a good night. Thank you for watching Frontier Community Access Television.